Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to show you how to disable the delete option or any other editing options in Excel. For example, I don't want anybody to delete this cell. Instead of putting this sheet protected at the review tab, we can actually make this done only when it is needed. Let's go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Double click on the needed sheet. For this case, it's sheet 1. From the list of objects, select worksheet. Make sure we are using the procedure selection change. And I'm going to use a condition to check whether the saved cell is selected. Use the if condition. And I use the active cell dot address property to check whether the saved cell is selected. Set equal to the name of the cell. Let's back to the spreadsheet. To check the name of this cell, we can go to the name box. From here, we can see that it's H1. Let's back to the visual basic type the name as string so we need quotation marks remember to include dollar sign as well so we have dollar sign h dollar sign one quotation mark and we can now set the instruction by using application dot on key method space type the target key for this case is the delete key also type as string we need quotation marks before typing the key make sure we start with curly bracket and now we can type key delete curly bracket and quotation mark if you wish to disable this key make a comma and simply put quotation marks if the cell is not selected we shouldn't disable this key so we have else instead of retyping again we can actually copy the statement that we made exclude the comma and day after and paste it here start with if of course we need to end with if and now we should be able to disable the delete key when Whenever the cell is selected, let's check back to the spreadsheet. If let's say we select any other cell, when we press on the delete key, the content deleted. However, when we selected target cell and press the delete key, regardless how many times we press on the delete key, the content of the cell is not deleted, as we can see here. On the other hand, instead of simply just a cell, how let's say we have a range. Let's back to Visual Basic. Double click on the needed sheet that is sheet 2 again from the list of objects select worksheet and make sure we are using selection change also we need addition use if condition but this time instead of using active cell dot address property i'm going to use the variable target created along with this procedure and we can use the application dot intersect method to check whether the selection that is the target match with the range that we are looking for let's back to the spreadsheet for this case we should have h1 up to h2 so in this range we should type h1 up to h2 use colon to indicate range also must be typed in terms of string how let's say we have this continuous cells don't worry very simple after the range simply make a comma and followed by the cell for example a1 and so for the rest of the cells now move to the end close bracket to end the range function close bracket again to end the intersect method what we need here is we have to make sure that is no intersection so we have is nothing and we wish to disable the delete key when that is intersection so we just have to make complement in front of application simply type not and then we could disable delete key. Otherwise, the delete key should not be disabled. Start with if, of course, we need to end with if. Let's back to the spreadsheet. Simply select any cell. We will still be able to delete the content. However, when we selected the two cells, when we press on delete, as we can see, cannot. Even we select a range and press on delete, also cannot. Since the two cells are selected within this range. However, when we select any other cells when we click on delete yes we can although the delete key is disabled but when we go to the home tab we will still be able to delete the cells by using the delete option at the home tab to overcome this issue instead of disable the delete key i'm going to make sheet 2 protected with a password let's say one two three otherwise sheet 
2 is not protected, that is unprotected. Also with the password 123, let back to the spreadsheet. Whenever we selected a cell, as we can see, the delete option is now grayed out. Even we right click, also have no options for us to delete the cell. But when we click on any other cell, as we can see, the delete option is now enabled. Also selected a range containing the cell grayed out. But any other ranges, we will still be able to have the delete option as you can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.